We allow it to happen and we don't do anything about it. Mm, I think there, there are many reasons for why people do these sort of attacks and I think that it's often to do with their psychological habits and their thinking process and mentality in life. Mental state. A lot of people have become like desensitized to like blood and horror and stuff and they watch all these violent movies and violent video games and stuff. Past experiences that they've been through can cause effects in certain people and cause them to act like this. I'm not sure about specific situations but I just know that it's a, it could be serious mental issues that can cause um, these problems. Just the way you're raised has a, a lot of effect on on how you turn out as a person. How do you strike a balance between preparing kids and scaring the pants off them? It may be just a drill, but the trauma is real. The majority of those who died today were children. Uh, beautiful little kids between the ages of 5 and 10 years old. I think the school shooting system is a really good idea for um, children to understand the concept of um, what, hap what, uh, what happens um, and how to save themselves because it's a matter of life and death really. But um, at the same time I think it's a stupid idea to have it in the first place because that shouldn't happen. That shouldn't happen to children um, or teachers for that matter and they shouldn't be put under that pressure of threat um, of like guns. Everybody! Nobody's getting out of here! It's every parent's worst nightmare, an active shooter on campus. <laughs> threatening to kill innocent kids. In this case, just a drill, but a terrifyingly realistic drill. And that's now an issue. It may be just a drill, but the trauma is real. And to this day, I still have quite a bit of shrapnel inside my leg, and it's a constant reminder of what I went through. The thing that I remember most is when you breathe in, you feel air inside your lungs, but you've never felt air anywhere else inside your body. And immediately after the bullets passed through me, I remember feeling invisible because there was air running through me that I had never felt before. And that's the instant that I knew something A wasn't right, B I had been shot, and the moment where I started thinking about death. It makes me feel angry because why kill innocent people and they haven't done anything wrong? We need to really come together and when these things happen, people do come together. But why should we like just come together when something like this happens and then just, you know, spread apart again, like go off to your normal lives, you know? Why can't we just be like that all the time? Events and shootings in the past have um, serious effects on not just obviously the people who um, were killed but their families as well and everyone in the surrounding area and so it is really um, upsetting and really scary as well for the future and just um, makes me personally feel um, very upset for the families and anyone involved in the situation at any time and it's it's a real worry for um, for them and it makes me just sort of question everything about um, how like decent humans can be if they would really go to these lengths to do these such horrible crimes to people and it makes you question the world and everyone in it and makes you worried and scared for the future of what could happen. I never want that to happen to my little sisters. I don't want my little sis sisters to be afraid to go to school. I didn't tell them anything about it. I don't want them to worry about that type of stuff. And no kid should. It's so sad, like, hearing about stuff like this, especially when it's kids. Another shooting. Come on, America. Home alone, on the couch, just, like, bawling. And I cried for half an hour. It's just all really, um, upsetting and difficult to process and take on, but, yeah. I was in shock, honestly. My government teacher was, like, telling us like, this guy, like, killed, like, a whole classroom, and I was like, what? Like, no, like, there's no way. 
I think they should control the gun laws in America by reducing the amount of guns that are being sold and to the people who they're being sold to and just have a firmer control over the situation in a whole. The best thing that Washington and the Congress can do is cooperate with each other and actually come together and focus on the well-being of the nation instead of themselves. And I think that's my message to Washington. If you proposed a bill saying, I want metal detectors in each school, they're gonna shut it down immediately because of budget issues. And that's also another reason nothing is done is because we don't distribute our budget right in America. We just need to talk more. If you're religious or something, you know, pray for the families or whatever. If you're not, you know, just send good vibes. The best you can do, honestly, is mourn. I don't know any of the kids that got shot, but I still feel bad. We should be proactive in trying to donate to them, not just sit there, oh, it happened, I'm sorry, I'm glad I'm not there. Just let's just watch it happen more. Post pictures about it and Facebook pages about it, it's so that you don't forget all the kids. You don't just go back to your regular lives of not caring. You try and let this make a difference in how you act. Well, nothing can fill the space of a lost child or loved one, all of us can extend a hand to those in need to remind them that we are there for them, that we are praying for them, that the love they felt for those they lost endures not just in their memories but also in ours. May God bless the memory of the victims. And in the words of Scripture, heal the brokenhearted.